Oh, hello there everyone. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do that. Okay. Hi there everyone. Hi everyone. You're not having deja vu. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same clothing. The setup is exactly the same as my Zara haul which I did last week, which if you haven't watched then you should go and watch. But on that video I mentioned that I was going to do a Topshop haul. Top Shop haul. So I did a mahoosive Top Shop haul. I bought loads and I think the reason why I kind of went a little bit, bear with me, I think the reason why I kind of went a little bit crazy is because I stumbled across a 20% off discount code and yeah I just googled 20% discount code and it came up, it worked and yeah um so that is that i don't know if it's gonna work i will link it down below if you want to use it if i find it if not then i'm sorry but this explains why the haul is so big even though right now there is currently a storm in the uk it is snowing hills storming sunny um and raining at the same time um, but yeah, we're going to think it's spring because I can't deal with this weather anymore. I need to check out and I need warmer weather. But, so yeah, this haul is definitely more like spring, summer, mm, spring inspired. No coats, one jacket and no knitwear. Before I get started, if you are new onto my channel, then hi. My name is Josephine. I love creating fashion content on here on YouTube. Sometimes a little bit, I do a little bit of YouTube. Sometimes I do a little bit of vlogs. I kind of mix it up um but yeah today i have a top shop haul so if you're new please subscribe and um welcome to my little family that we have here on this little corner of youtube like this video leave me a comment it really 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 helped my channel and um, so that we can get out there and grow our little community mm? anyway um mm, i'm gonna start off probably with the most springy item okay so the first item i'm gonna be showing you guys is this kind of it's another trench coat and honestly we're going into the season so any of you guys who are out there judging me for buying another trench coat you should <laughs> yeah but we are going into the season kind of um for spring um, so yeah, I thought I would pick up this kind of like mustardy colour um, uh, trench coat. It has no real structure to it and that's kind of why I like it. Because it just falls and it just kind of like falls on you, just drapes over you. I really like the casual vibes of it. Um, it's probably my most casual style trench coat. I love the colour. And you know what, I kind of wanted it to be even more yellowy than it is. Um, it's more of a muted yellow. Um, so if it's perfect for those who are similar to me, who don't wear a lot of colour or who are like frightened of colour, then this might be quite good for you because it's not like in your face yellow, but it just has um, a slight yellow hue. Okay, so the next item is this little dress. Now, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure why I decided to pick up this dress. I just thought it was really, really cute. Um, so it's kind of like a satin uh, material. It bunches up at the top. I mean, this video is definitely going to be going live after Valentine's Day, but I mean, this could have been a good Valentine's Day outfit. Um, when I saw it on the model, it looked a lot more like kind of a skater dress, a little bit more looser. But on me, it fits quite tight, probably because I'm quite curvy on my lower half. Um, it ties up on the sides, so it has like bits here which you can tie, and it ruches up in the middle, which is really quite flattering. And I love the sleeves of it. Um, I think Topshop brought out something like this, but in like a top version, and I think that's what I was thinking. I thought this would it kind of like that but i'm not sure i don't really wear short dresses like this um i don't feel very comfortable in them and to be honest i have no social life so um i don't really go out so i'm just thinking i don't think i'll actually get the use out of this and that i thought i would um i picked this up in a size 10 and it was 35 pounds at full price so yeah by the way i picked up loads of things some things are quite similar looking um and I'm just hoping that you guys are going to give me advice on what I should keep or not. Like, I do want your advice, so um, we'll get chatting in the comment section below. So, okay, let's do two things which are quite similar. So, I picked up two pairs of trousers which are quite similar. And um, the first pair which I picked up are these um, kind of light beigey pleated, like, 
pleated trousers and they are elasticated at the back now I love when trousers are elasticated at the back because your girl has um, big bum and big thighs and small waist and no trousers trousers never fit me so usually I love it when things are elasticated but and I also love the colour of these trousers and I love the fact that they are pleated at the front I think they're stunning but um, and I picked these up in a size 10 now if you are I'm, not, I'm normally a size 12, um, but whenever I know that things are elasticated back, I always go for a size 10 because um, the elasticated thing at the back will mean that it'll, it should fit over my curves quite nicely. However, my one issue with these trousers is I don't like the way that they go down on your leg. They're very like balloon shaped. They don't really have much shape to them. Um, they just kind of, they kind of balloon out at the centre of your leg and then kind of go down a little bit and I'm not sure if I'm completely here for that um, I prefer more of a, either a straight trouser, a tapered trouser or a flare trouser the balloon trend, I'm not sure whether I'm here for it um, so I don't think I will be keeping these because I just don't feel very comfortable in it like, I don't think they really flatter me so yeah they're gorgeous, lovely and I think they would look really great if you have more of like of a masculine style but I think my style, even though I wouldn't describe it as feminine I think it's a little bit too feminine for those but the next ones that I picked up were quite similar again the main difference with these is that they're a little bit more straight um, and wide which I much prefer they're like wide all the way down they kind of don't balloon um, which I like I picked these up in a size 12 and I didn't know whether to get a 10 or a 12 and really I should have got a, um, a 10 um, they are I feel like online you can't always tell and I'm not really good at like knowing which materials um, but yeah these are far too big for me I do show that in the try on portion that they are too big for me but I will be repurchasing these in um, a smaller size I'll exchange them um, because I really do like them I love the colour of them I think I'll wear these loads during um, spring and even like um, cooler month cooler summer days i have another pair of trousers like these from topshop um in like a rich like um a deeper camel color and i love them um so i think i will be getting these but in a smaller size okay let's do the one boring item which i'm 100 percent keeping because i love it um it's this box style like a boxy t-shirt crop top not too cropped which i love because i kind of have a I wouldn't say I have a long torso, but it's, I don't have, like, short torso issues. So sometimes I don't like it when, like, when my belly button shows. I don't know, that's really weird. I have that issue with photos as well. Where, like, I'll be taking pictures, especially in the summer, and, like, why is my belly button out? I didn't even feel... Well, anyway. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, this is the top here. Um, it's, like, a cropped, boxy-style top. Love this. Um, it's a little bit sheer. It's a little bit sheer, but I mean, with a nude bra, you, you can't tell. Um, and I got this in a size 12, nice boxy big shape, which I really like. They look really good with like the next item, which I'm going to show you, which is a pair of jeans. And they were only, it was £8, and I will 100% be picking these up. Well, I'll get another white one, and I'll probably pick up a black and a grey one as well, because I think... I just love tops like that like they just fit really nicely and they don't show my belly button which I love okay so the next item which I'm going to be showing you guys is a pair of the premium mom jeans I'll zip it up okay so I heard everybody banging on about these mom jeans and I was like I'm not gonna fall into the hype I'm not going to fall into hype. I don't need another pair of mum jeans. Sometimes I'm, um, I feel like I'm very curvy, like curvy. I have um, big thighs. I have quite a big bum. Um, I'm bigger on my bottom half. So like when people recommend jeans, I'm always a bit like, mm, will it fit me? Because if they don't have a similar shape to me, like if they're a bit more like straight, I'm unlikely to really like take on their um, opinion because I'm like, mm, it fits you, but mm, uh. but I saw a lot of people raving about these jeans and I thought I felt like there's got to be some truth behind the rave behind them um so I thought I tried them and honestly guys they're worth it <laughs> uh, 
Um, so these are the premium mom jeans. I have a pair of mom jeans. I don't even I don't even know if I still have them. I might have got rid of them by now. But um, I used to have a pair of mom jeans from Top Shop, and they, I honestly, I had them for years, and they never ever. I mean, they always fit nicely, but these are just better. I think it's because of. I think it's because they have like one percent elastin. I think they do have some some elastin. They're not a hundred percent cotton, and I think that's what did it for me because. Um, a lot of people rave on about like 100% cotton, 100% cotton, and 100% cotton is not for me. Um, I do not have the time in my life to be wearing rigid, hard, stiff jeans. I don't have the time to break them in because I have clothes that I need to, like, I have other things and I, I can't dedicate my life to breaking in a pair of jeans. Um, but yeah, guys, these are totally worth it. I've gone on a rampage. I don't know what on earth I was going on about but these are totally totally worth it okay so the last thing that i'm going to be showing you guys is a co-ord and i've had my eye on this co for a while and Dee, Dee if you are watching honestly you made me want to buy it we went um to london uh last week if you saw my weekly vlog then you would know probably a few weeks ago now from when this video is going to go live and we saw this set and she really wanted it and I was like oh I really want it too but then I didn't want to buy stuff and carry it around London because we, we had massive suitcases um, but then I came around and bought it and this is it so they're like um, flared straight trousers and then the cardigan which Honestly, I didn't think I needed the cardigan or another cardigan, but honestly, this cardigan fits really nice. It's nice and cropped, um, and because these trousers, like like the knit trousers, are really high waisted, they fit really nicely. And um, my boyfriend loves this. Jack's like, you need to keep it, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether I should keep it because sometimes with um, like knitted material, especially when it comes to trousers, again because I'm fuller on my lower half, I feel like. The material for some reason makes me look even fuller or like fluffier so i'm not sure whether i feel a hundred percent comfortable in these but um yeah i do like them but i'm not sure i'm not sure guys i like it but i'm not a hundred percent sure please let me know what you think and uh yeah so i've done enough rambling i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video i've really enjoyed creating it i love a good haul and yeah i will catch you guys in my next video thank you so much for getting to the end of this haul because i know it's quite a long one um yeah i'll catch you guys in next in my next video bye